Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome to another of my five Victorian novels about series where I talk about five Victorian novels about a particular theme. And today I'm going to be talking about five Victorian novels that are all about sibling relationships. These are obviously just a handful of the Victorian novels that feature siblings and explore sibling relationships. There are a ton of Victorian novels that explore sibling relationships in a really interesting way and there are so many that I could have spoken about today. But these are some of my favourites that I did really want to recommend. The first book I want to recommend is Deerbrook by Harriet Martineau. This is a novel I read last year which I absolutely loved. It is a fantastic early Victorian novel um, about two sisters who move to this new town of Deerbrook. They haven't been there before. They don't know anyone but they have some distant relations there. Their parents have recently died um, and they move in with their distant relations um, and they make Deerbrook their home and it's about the relationship between these two sisters and also various men around them. And Deerbrook follows the lives of these two sisters, their romantic relationships, their friendships, their desire to build for themselves a place in the world um, and also what happens when kind of like rumour and gossip and scandal ends up disrupting the sisters lives a lot. There's also a bit of a love triangle with a man who one of the sisters is in love with but might be slightly in love with the other sister and lots of complications like that as well. I love Deerbrook so much and I think the two sisters are such interesting characters and their relationship and how it changes and grows um, and how other people react to them as a pair and individually is so interesting. It's such a fantastic book. I love it so much and I highly highly recommend it. Next I want to recommend The Small House at Allington by Anthony Trollope. This is one of my favourite Victorian books ever. I feel a little bit bad about recommending it because it is the fifth book in the series. It is the fifth one of the Chronicles of Barsetshire by Anthony Trollope. They are a loose series of interconnected novels and um, however I would strongly recommend that you read them all in order because um, they have lots of characters that crop up in each other's books and if you read the later books then you will spoil yourself for the earlier books. The Small House at Allington is a truly amazing novel and I am so fond of it. I love it so much. I think it's just wonderful. In some ways Ways, I have referred to it before as a bit of a reimagining of Sense and Sensibility in that it follows at its heart two sisters who are very very different, Belle and Lily Dale. Lily is much more like emotional and romantic and um, extroverted and Belle is more kind of quiet and sensible and we follow these two sisters Lily and Belle and their relationship with the men around them as well as with each other and their mother. They are such wonderful characters and I really really love their relationship as well as the differences between them and what this story does um, with all of the rest of the characters around them as well. As I said, I do think there's grounds for reading it as a bit of a sense of sensibility retelling because it has quite similar plot points in some ways and a similar relationship and difference between the two sisters. Um, and I feel like it's really interesting how different this book is, but also how similar. And I feel like it's interesting to see how the plot line differs later on, though it has quite a lot of similarities early on, if you see what I mean. It's such a wonderful book, I'm so fond of it, and I just cannot recommend it enough. The ending of The Small House at Allington is just perfection, and so wonderful, and so amazing, and I just, I just love it so much, I just love it so much. Another Victorian book about sisters, though quite different, is The Half Sisters by Geraldine Dewsbury. This is a wonderful novel that I absolutely love, and it's very, very underrated. So this follows um, two sisters, two half-sisters, who grow up entirely separate from each other, they don't know about each other's existence, um, and they have completely different lives and different backgrounds. And Geraldine Dewsbury kind of uses this to explore class differences in the Victorian society, and sort of respectability and marriage and different life paths and um, it's just fantastic. So the parent they share is their father and um, who was a married man and the daughter from his marriage is Alice who is a young respectable Victorian middle-class lady who at the beginning of the book decides she wants to get married and that is the very conventional life that she wants to have and then the other sister, her half-sister, um, is the product of an affair that her father had with an Italian woman. Bianca is half Italian and um, she has grown up for a lot of her life in Italy. She is very poor, she is working class, and her path in life leads her to be an actress and make money that way, um, but it also leads her to meet Alice, and they meet each other not knowing their sisters. And we follow their kind of relationship as they do get to become friends and know each other, but also their incredibly different life paths. Such an amazing novel, I just cannot recommend it enough. It's so, so good. I love it. It's amazing. It's such a fascinating exploration of like sibling relationships, but also of um, like difference in life quality and 
class differences in Victorian Britain and it's a really wonderful exploration of like different life paths for women in the Victorian period um, and really like wonderfully feminist too. I really want to reread it now, maybe this October, we will see. The next book I want to talk about is this. This is The Moorland Cottage by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is a novella, it's quite short but it's really powerful and I love it a lot. This follows the life of a young woman called Maggie and is partly to do with the relationship between her and her brother Edward. Edward is not the nicest of people and the exploration of the relationship between them and Maggie's complicated feelings towards her brother of kind of love and devotion when she's a child but growing complexity when she gets older and realises that maybe he isn't always that nice but also he's her brother. Um, it becomes so complicated and so wonderful and I love it. It's fantastic. It's a kind of wonderful exploration of priorities in a way as well in that Maggie has to sort of choose whether she puts herself first or her brother or like the man she loves or her family like what comes first um, and what does she prioritise um, and to what extent could she sacrifice herself for her brother. Maggie and Edward's mother very much values Edward over Maggie um, and there's kind of complicated dynamics and exploration with that as well. It's just such a brilliant novella. I really really love it and I highly recommend it. Fascinating sibling relationship in it. The final book I would like to recommend is Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens. So I would say that Dombey and Son is less about siblings than the other four books I've just mentioned. However it does contain my favourite sibling relationship in all of Victorian literature I think, which is the relationship between our main character Florence and her brother Paul, which is just wonderful. Dombey and Son is a wonderful novel which follows the life not of Mr Dombey and not of Mr Dombey's son but of Mr Dombey his daughter who is kind of excluded from the family and from the family business because she is a girl so she grows up knowing that her father doesn't really care about her or doesn't really love her because all he really wants is his son to grow up and inherit the business. Um, however while Mr Dombey greatly favours his son over his daughter that doesn't cause a wedge between them at all and they are incredibly fond of each other. Florence is devoted to her brother and her brother Paul who is one of my favourite characters in Dombey and Son is incredibly devoted to her as well. They have such a wonderful wonderful, fascinating, moving relationship uh, which is just beautiful and beautifully explored um, and is kind of a sibling relationship but also partly because Florence is older than Paul by quite a few years and um, their mother has passed away. Florence kind of takes on a bit of a maternal role as well and I just think they have a wonderful relationship that I love. There are also some other very important siblings in Dombey and Son who are the Carker siblings. There are three of them. Um, Mr Carker the manager who is James Carker, Mr Carker the junior who is John Carker and Harriet Carker who is their sister. Um, so Mr Carker the manager um, is Mr Dombey's right hand man and he is completely separated from his siblings. He doesn't see them at all and he has shunned them. Um, he has a terrible relationship with them although Mr. Carker the junior works in the same office, they completely are separate at work um, and never see each other outside of work and then Harriet is their sister who is very good friends with and lives with um, Mr. Carker the junior but doesn't see her elder brother and they have a really complicated fascinating sibling relationship as well. So those are the five Victorian novels about siblings that I wanted to recommend to you today. However there is another book that I do want to mention. I don't want to recommend it but I do want to mention because I feel like it's wrong to make a video about Victorian books about siblings and not talk about The Mill and the Floss by George Eliot because it is a Victorian novel that is about siblings and that is really what it is about, is about two siblings. However, I hate it. It is my least favourite Victorian novel. However, I also feel like that's partly because I really don't get on with George Eliot's writing style so maybe people will like it and so I feel like I shouldn't exclude it from this video on the basis of that but I did want it to take up like a slot of the five when I had five other Victorian books to talk about. The Mill the Floss follows a young girl and later woman called Maggie who has a very complicated relationship with her brother Tom. Tom is not a very nice person but Maggie is completely devoted to him and a lot of the book is about their relationship as siblings. If you're thinking some of this sounds familiar, it does, doesn't it? It rather sounds like The Moorland Cottage by Elizabeth Gaskell. The Moorland Cottage was published 10 years before The Mill on the Floss and it is sort of generally accepted that George Eliot was in part inspired by The Moorland Cottage um, to write The Mill on the Floss. Personally I much prefer The Moorland Cottage um, but I also know that I get on with Elizabeth Gaskell's writing style incredibly well and I don't get on with George Eliot's writing style very much so if you've read The Mill on the Floss I think you'd enjoy The Moorland Cottage and if you've read The Moorland Cottage you might be interested in reading The Mill on the Floss if you get on with George Eliot's writing style. I do not. While I completely despise The Mill on the Floss and I hate the ending with all my heart and I really don't get on with George Eliot's writing style, it is a really fascinating book about siblings um, and if you're interested in siblings in Victorian literature I feel like it is incredibly relevant because it does have this really like toxic sibling relationship between these 
two people who are not very nice, um, which I sort of don't enjoy, but I also think is interesting from an objective perspective. That was the like weirdest non-recommendation recommendation that I've ever given. That is all I wanted to say for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know down in the comments what some of your favourite Victorian books about siblings are. And that is all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.